Praise be Jesus Christ. I read something beautiful that I want to share with you. It's from Roses Among Thorns. This little book is uh, excerpts from St. Francis de Sales' um, letters to his directees. Beautiful summary of the, the heart of St. Francis de Sales, whose feast day is on Tuesday, January 24th. Okay. So it's actually in the foreword. The foreword is written by Bishop James Conley, and he writes, I chose the phrase from St. Francis de Sales, cor ad cor licitor, which means heart speaks to heart. That's the phrase I want to share with you today. Heart speaks to heart. And he says, I chose this for my Episcopal motto. I was not the first to choose that motto. In fact, I chose it because my spiritual mentor, Blessed Henry Cardinal Newman, chose it upon being appointed cardinal. And so the point is, is heart speaks to heart is a phrase that comes from St. Francis de Sales. Now, Pope Francis just wrote an apostolic letter. It's called um, Totum Amoris Est, um, Everything Pertains to Love. And he quotes St. John Paul II. St. John Paul II, he he wrote St. John Paul II, would call Francis de Sales the doctor of divine love. Now we know that, let's go back to heart speaks to heart. We know that God is love and we were made by love, out of love, for love. And we're commanded to love God with all our heart. And we know that God, Jesus, gave us his heart. He gives us his heart in the Holy Eucharist, and so the heart of God, indeed, wants to speak to our hearts. Heart speaks to heart. Now, a scripture for this, heart speaks to heart. It's not a scripture passage, but in Psalm 42, it says, deep calls unto deep. The heart of God is infinitely deep. We're made in the image and likeness of God. We're finite beings. But in a sense, we have a capacity in our hearts for the infinite because our hearts are made for God. Viva Cristore.